Hi friends, welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany. Today, I am going on a trip I have been looking forward to all year. I'm going to Nashville to meet some of my booktube besties in person. Ah! I'm so excited. I have met almost all of them before. Now that I think about it, there's only one person I haven't ever met in person and we're having a girls weekend together and I'm so excited and I'm vlogging it for you. So you're welcome. There's going to be book shopping. There's going to be lots of fun. I'm sure there will be other content coming out of it as well. And I'm going to show you the books that I'm packing to take on the trip. This is also going to be an in-person start to a book swap I'm doing with Mara from Books Like Whoa because she lives in Nashville. So Mara is going to be there, Izzy from Happy For Now because both of them live there, and then I'm flying in, Liana from Liana's Library is flying in, and Jess Owens is flying in. Y'all, it is going to be a good time. We are renting a house for the weekend and we're going to have a blast. I'm so excited. Um, so I leave for the airport in about 30 minutes. I'm pretty much ready to go and I wanted to start the vlog. Okay, so here is my travel outfit. It's super comfy and nerdy and fun. I've got Star Wars bike shorts and this cute little Star Wars tank top, Jawa, <laughs> Pond and Salvage. I think it's so cute. These are both from Torrid and then some comfy sneakers. So I am packing three books to take on the trip with me. And then of course I have ebooks and audiobooks, but three physical books are coming with me because I, I know I need to leave space in my suitcase for whatever books I buy in Nashville because we are definitely going book shopping. Okay, so here's what I'm taking with me. I love these book sleeves for travel and book events because they protect your books. So I've got a little notebook in here and then my three books all fit in here because they're paperbacks. And here's what I'm bringing. God Killer by Hannah Kainer. I need to read this because me and Leanna are doing a podcast episode about it. Look at the autumnal cover. It's not very long, so I'm hoping I can get through it. It's a debut fantasy that they're saying is like Gideon the Ninth meets Witcher. I am very here for that. Then I have Wild Seed by Octavia Butler. This is the book club pick for my Patreon book club this month. And finally, Outlaw Mage by K.S. Fio. So I'm actually reading this one right now and I'm really into it. She did a Kickstarter to launch this book. And if you like prickly heroines, this is fantastic. I, I've just been kind of slowly working my way through it, but enjoying it like it's an enjoyable slow read. So those are the three physical books that are coming with me. Let's go to Nashville. And I was off to the airport for day one. It's not a very long flight, just a little over two hours from New York City to Nashville. And they recently redid LaGuardia Airport, and it is really nice now ever since they redid it during COVID. Had some lunch with this beautiful view and ready to say goodbye to my city for just a few days. I was listening to this. I have some feelings. You'll hear about it. I read Outlaw Mage on the plane, which is fantastic. Loving it. Goodbye, New York. Um, yeah, if, you have, if you're wondering, Fractional Noise, I'm just not a fan of. Uh, stay tuned for my sci-fi September vlog I'll talk about. I touched down in Nashville, and I'm ready to see Izzy. Yay! <laughs> ah, it's Jess Owens! Hey, hi, hello. Yeah! <laughs> We had such a fun night. We stayed at Izzy's house that first evening and we went to Party Fowl for some <laughs> Nashville hot chicken for dinner. It was delicious and we had these drinks as well. I had like a boozy creamsicle. I don't know. It was very good. Very sweet, but very good. And the food was really good. I've got to say though, even the mild spice gets hot after you've been eating it for a while. So I'm glad Izzy warned us. Thank you, Izzy. We got like matching uh, pajamas for everybody. <laughs> this is I cute. Mean, this I, is I, I almost did this it and is. I was like, would y'all do it? <laughs> After stopping at Walmart to get surprise PJs for everyone, we made some cookies and just hung out and watched some TV and got ready for day two. Good morning. Yesterday was such a whirlwind. I didn't really talk much on camera, um, but it was really fun. Me and Jess both arrived here and got picked up by Izzy, and so we stayed at her house for tonight. Mara got Liana, and Mar Liana's at Mara's house tonight, and then today... We're meeting in the morning for book shopping, and then we're going to check into the place that we rented for the weekend. So 
it's been so much fun. We had a really good time. We made cookies last night after dinner and just hung out and it's just, it's been good. So I just woke up. I am going to shower and get ready for the day and then we're gonna go do some book shopping. It's gonna be fun. Fit for day two. Now I just need to go do my makeup. And we're off to meet up at our first bookstore of the day, McKay's, an iconic used bookstore in Nashville. They all have lovely t shirts. I love your shirt. We were so excited to meet up and see everybody in person. A lot of people had never met before, and this bookstore was enormous. It was a little bit mixed in terms of quality of the used things. Some things weren't in great condition, but a lot of stuff was, and I, I kind of got a lot of stuff. What you got there? Lots of stuff for my kids. <laughs> and me, but... <laughs> After all that shopping, we needed some nourishment to continue on our day, so we went out to lunch at Green Hills Grill, which had amazing food and a lovely waiter. Oh my god! <laughs> this burrata appetizer was so good. I had tacos. Everybody, including our resident vegan Liana, was able to find something amazing to eat. And then it was time for our second bookstore of the day, Parnassus Books a local indie bookstore and it was beautiful. It was so cute and they especially had this adorable kids area. Fourth Wing, have you heard of it? What? Have you heard of this book? Never. I haven't heard of it at it's all. It's amazing. Oh. Dragon. Yes. I loved it. I remember being like Fourth Wing, never heard of her. Also, peep the signed copy of Silver Nitrate by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. Um, love it. And this was such a cute picture of Jess. I had a great time at this place and I picked up one book, The Death I Gave Him, and there we all are. Finally, it was time to head to our last bookstore of the day, Novelette, which was honestly adorable. And we were all so impressed at the selection of books here, books we had never heard of, which is hard to do. Well, no, this is the Y section, and then it bleeds yeah. <laughs> like, okay, out. Like, oh and I love this mural. It was perfect. And this was my favorite picture. We made it to the house after lots of book shopping, and uh, it looks really beautiful. Unless there's a pool right over there. Fortunately, the rest of the weekend was rainy, so we weren't able to use the pool, but this house was gorgeous. It's a historic house, and I took some tour footage, which I'm also gonna be sharing with Izzy for her vlog. This was one of the bedrooms. It was huge, actually. There were three bedrooms on the ground level and then another bed upstairs. Mara was staying at her house um, and then driving over to meet us, but we had so much fun, so much just hanging out and chatting. It was a really fantastic space and the kitchen was lovely, although weird thing. We were convinced there was no microwave and then just found it. It was like in the kitchen island, which is weird. We, we think this is like a rich people thing to do. I don't love it. None of us did. Um, but yeah, here's some more of the house, some more of the bedrooms, and then you're going to get to see the super, super creepy basement. Okay. What's in the basement? Does it? Oh, she opened it. From last night. We're last That looks super creepy. Go, go down there. Should we go? Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Dun -dun -dun. I'll put in some like creepy, uh, <laughs> creepy music. No, people watching this video, I'm only doing this because I'm with a white woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going in front. <laughs> Why are all the lights on? It's so dusty. Oh, it's like dusty in here. Like all the lights. Who knows what's behind the door? Oh no. Hopefully that's just out. I think we'll survive, but we gotta figure out what's going on with the lights. It was weird because none of the light switches in the basement worked and we never did figure it out, so they just stayed on. But this is the upstairs and it's a really cool loft. I feel like if you stayed here with a family, this is probably where you'd kind of send the kids to hang out. There are multiple beds, so there's a larger one over here. There's some hangout space with a TV and then there's two little twin beds as well. Although the downside is it did get hot up there. So here we all are! But of course, you know we needed plenty of snacks and drinks for the weekend to be fueled for 
book conversations. This is my meal. I call this girl dinner. Girl, girl, girl dinner. dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Giving, like <laughs> way to funnel um, <laughs> money from. <laughs> <laughs> show you the books that I got book shopping yesterday. We went to three different bookstores and the first one was McKay's which is a used bookstore and I got a giant bag of books for $40. A lot of these are not for me. A lot of them are for my kids. I thought I would briefly go over them and then I'll do like this will go in probably my book haul video as well but they had really inexpensive nonfiction. I have read this but All You Can Never Know by Nicole Chung was fantastic. It was two dollars. Mediocre by Ijeoma Oluo was six dollars. Pretty good. Oh, fifty cents. Secret Games by Jeannie Linden. This is a, a romance that had some a very intriguing premise. Again, check out the full book haul vlog to see all the details about the books. Across the Great Barrier by Patricia C. Reed. I think I read this like years ago, but this was in like nice condition, and they're harder to find. Clown in a Cornfield by Adam Cesar. I've heard good things about it. It's like YA horror. I've been interested and it was like five bucks. They had a whole bunch of American Girls books for one to two dollars each. So I got a whole bunch. My six-year-old has read one. They were like right around the right age. So grabbed some of those. And then for like two bucks they had paperbacks of Hunger Games and Mockingjay, which I don't actually own right now. And then also for my kids, oh, there's some more American Girls books and uh, two Diary of Wimpy Kid books. So uh, yeah, all of that was $40, which I think is pretty great. And how many am I adding to my TBR list? One, two, three. I think that's it. Because I, I have read this before, so. Not too bad. Then we went to, what was it? I can't even think. It was a long day yesterday. Uh, oh, then we went to Parnassus and I got The Death I Gave Him by MX Liu, which sounds really good. It's supposed to be kind of like a, I had to change the battery. I don't think this is like exactly the same angle, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, Parnassus, at Parnassus I got The Death I Gave Him, which is like, a retelling of Hamlet that's supposed to be queer sci-fi horror, I think, which sounds fun. And then lastly, we went to this really cute bookstore called Novelette that is a newer one in Nashville. It's queer owned. And I got a couple of books there. They had some books that were discounted because of defects. And for five bucks, I picked up The Spear Cuts Through Water by Simone Jimenez. Uh, it's just got like some excess paper, which I could cut off pretty easily. So $5 for that. Uh, I've heard about this from Angela at Literature Science Alliance. I know she really likes his books. He wrote The Vanished Birds, which I haven't read, but this has been on my list of things I was interested in. So I grabbed that. And then I also got You Just Need to Lose Weight and 19 Other Myths About Fat People by Audrey Gordon. I read, um, I read what we don't talk about when we talk about fat before from her and I thought it was fantastic and this is her newest book. So I picked that up as well. So that is my book shopping. So far it's been really fun. It's been a lot of just like hanging out and chatting and a little bit of reading, but mostly chatting. So it's been a good time. This morning we're gonna go have some brunch and then I think just hang out around the house. At some point I am doing that book swap with Mara. So I'll put that on here, that should be fun. And yeah, I don't know, it's just been a nice chill weekend so far. So we were off to brunch at Hearts, which sounded great, but it was like an hour wait. So we went to Starbucks. Well, we video. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but finally, it was time to go and eat. And I am personally a fan of brunch. This was delicious. I mean, this food was amazing. I had these zucchini corn fritters. Some of us shared these ricotta pancakes. It was all really great. And then we went back to the house to hang out. I, I'm like, it's literally me and like, you know, natural success. This is a good year. Digital movie. It's fine. You it's can buy it. Oh, <laughs> I don't that much to reenact it. Okay. Uh, okay, I would like a live performance. Please. I 
<laughs> Reenact the Barbie movie. You guys are filming. I can't hit yeah. money. <laughs> Time they could end the lease. Exactly. It's but absurd. I mean, I do it too. <laughs> so, I understand, but I do get that it's. Sorry, are you ready for your reenactment? Because you got it. I'm. I'm. I want to see the. Let's show oh, us the reenactment. You wake up. We've taken our photos in all of our matching-ish pajamas. Yes. Mine doesn't Ooh. match any money. No. But you have cats you have an orange. Match. It's your She's favorite. Our princess. Our, our princess. princess. <laughs> we didn't think you wanted to match. Mara. They think I'm a diva. <laughs> <laughs> you are a diva. We're gonna do Barbie movie. Oh, I said. Here we go. Mara cried. Just thought it was okay. The rest of us loved it and had seen Good it before. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> comfy outfit for the day. And we are back at the Novel at Bookstore yet again, because of course we are. <laughs> it is really cute. This bookstore was definitely a favorite for all of us. I did end up picking up another book that I hadn't seen before, and it sounds really good. It's a queer gothic thriller called Yes Daddy. It sounds really great. After that, we went to House Like Whoa, the place where all the magic happens. Do you recognize anything from Mara's filming backgrounds? It was very exciting. We're gonna do a book swap and read each other's books, and then we'll do a live stream later on. I'm putting this in my vlog, and I think Mara's just doing this for... Yes. Hi. Bonus. Hello. Hello. We have two Bonus. cameras going. Yes. Um, so we picked three books for each other, and then once we've read them, we'll do live streams discussing. So. Yes. I think we need to figure out if what is friendlier for you to come on my channel to talk about the books I gave you, or for you to come on for me to talk about the books you gave I me. I don't know. Leanna, what do you do? Oh, we usually do where you talk about the books that the person chose on that person's channel. Oh. Okay. okay. I think y'all need to do the reverse and just duke it out. <laughs> Make it really aggressive. We could. That's true. <laughs> Boom. Um, how do you want to do? Do you want to do like one at a time? Sure. Let's do one at a time. Okay. Okay. So I don't. I Bethany wrapped, wrapped hers, mine because she's legit, <laughs> and I did not. I just put post-its on them okay. explaining my thought process. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's go with the like more intense one for well, one of the more intense ones. Okay. First, I guess. Okay. So. Okay. <clears throat> A serial killer murder mystery. Okay, that's exciting. <laughs> In a fantasy world with interesting world building elements. Okay, this sounds like a Mara book, so. Okay. I don't recognize the cover. Have I not heard of this book? I don't I don't know. I've talked about the it. The Helm of Midnight. Yeah. I don't think I've heard you talk about this. I read it last year, and I've had it in my head since then that I thought it would be something you might be into. So. That sounds like me. <laughs> yeah. So I'm okay. very optimistic about this one. And it's chunky, but it's not yeah. bad. I mean, because it is a fantasy, Ooh. too. So. Oh, that's right. <laughs> but yeah. Ooh, a Darien Deadly Highs. Okay, I'm very, this one I'm very excited about. I, I have high hopes. Okay. okay. Um, the most intense one would be probably this. Okay. Philosophical, political, machination-y, sci-fi, lit fic. Oh, okay. Embassy Town by China Mieville. Yes. Okay, so this has been on, like, my list of things to try. I recently DNF'd his debut, but I've heard it's very different. Yeah. It's weird. I saw that yeah. and I was worried. But, but the writing, like it was interesting conceptually. It was just too weird. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I just hate the writing though. So I want to say that I can't, I, the only caveat, I don't remember there being child harm. Okay. But I can't promise you because I was like, did I just forget that? I mean, if it's not a it lot, doesn't, it doesn't like it's probably, spring to my mind. It's probably fine. Um, but when I was reading it, I was like, oh, this is a Bethany book. Okay. I was like, Bethany will love this. Okay. I didn't love it, but I think it's one you would really like. Amazing. I so. mean, it sounds cool. Like a yeah. colonized distant planet. Mm -hmm. Love it. Awesome. Yeah. Hey. So I, I'm going to end with the, the, the least intense book okay. I got you. Okay. So. Okay. This one. okay. Oh, there is the card. Oh, that's right. Sorry. I forgot. Um, okay. 
If Babel and the Last Tale of the Flower Bride had a 30-something literary baby, or horror exploring similar themes to Babel with more nuance and better character work, the ending ending is a bit wild, but I think you might appreciate it. Okay. Interesting, because I actually like Babel's character okay. work. I know I'm okay. alone in this. You're not alone. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm was just. Jess. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, I love the cover. Mm -hmm. The center? Yeah. Again, I haven't heard of this. So, like, I'm so excited right now because these are like... <laughs> I loved this, too. Okay. I, I had an audio arc on Met Galley and I bought myself a finished copy. This is a beautiful cover. I'm upset. This is actually the vibe I want for my wallpaper. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I like this yes. line. Yeah. I love I want um, you to be like, this is okay. a book I hated. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. I really love this. I really love it. Be like, I hated this and I think you would love it. Okay, I... I am really intrigued by this. Okay. I don't know how I'll do with it. I'm curious. But I'm very interested this in this as a concept. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We'll see how this goes. Okay. But I I think this was a good choice for me. And it's a debut. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love that. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, at least next <clears throat> intensity level. Okay. Queer-coded, Austin-esque, modern classic. I love this. So this is an author who I think if you like this... He, like, this is a new author for you. Okay. Good. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is Excellent Women by Barbara Pym, who I've never read from. Yes. So she is great. often referred to as the Austin of the 20th century. Okay. She It's like lots of, like, novels and manners, but with, like, 1950s. single women who feel queer-coded to me. I love this. This yeah. sounds like something I would be really into. I, okay. Yeah. 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 I, I'm pretty confident. Okay. Now. We'll see how it goes. I love it. Awesome. Okay. Yay. So far, I feel like we're doing... I think we're doing pretty we're good. We're doing pretty good. We are. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is like the, the, the most lighthearted of the books that I got. Okay. <laughs> sort of. I mean, it's still not like... Oh. Oh, oh, oh sorry. I keep forgetting. Okay. Get she just wants getting to open it. Look it's at the card. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. Like, it's 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 and also, happy. let's note her pretty plant wrapping paper. It's yes. very nice. Okay. I think this sci-fi version of an isolated close circle murder mystery is fun, a bit cozy, and has central pre-established romance I love. I think you might enjoy it. Enjoy it. Okay. This sounds great. Oh, I'm worried. I forgot to put this in a haul now that I'm... No. Okay. No, no, no. Good. Good. Oh. Good. Oh, I already know what this is and I'm so excited. Yay! Okay. <laughs> I have been... I keep almost picking this okay. for vlogs. Okay. Um, so I'm so excited. Yay! About this. Okay. The Spare Man by Mary Robinette Kowal. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited about this. And she's disabled. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yay. This I'm very confident is going to be a hit. Yes. Um, I, for a second, I thought it was The Warden, which I picked oh, up on your recommendation. Okay. And no. I was like, yes. oh, no. Did no, I not put it no, in no. there? Okay, yeah, cool. No. It's yes. not that. This is, I'm, I'm very excited. I think that I'm going to really like this. Yay. So, least, cool. least heavy one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love this. The this next sci-fi romance author I think you should try. It's a Honey Phillips who I've heard you talk about, but I yes. haven't tried. Oh. Seven Brides for Seven Alien Brothers, Artek. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, oh, amazing. amazing. So when we last did oh, cool. this, I gave you this King Spencer Bride by Ruby Dixon. Yes, which I really liked. Yes. Yeah. So this is my next like Okay. Give this a try and see if you try and like. see how you get on with it. Yeah. I mean I I Loved Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Okay. So when I was growing up, even though I know it's problematic, but like I well, still, I, I mean, love, love it. If it's a sci-fi, um, it, it's not problematic. I mean, this sounds like fun. I love. Yeah, it. I think we did good. I think we did really good. Actually, Honestly, this is a great. I'm very excited. I'm about very this. excited. Okay, here's Here her stack. Go. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> um, so check us out live at some point on both of our channels yeah. to so talk about how, how we, we how we did. Cool. Yay! Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. I'm very excited. About I'm this. excited too. This okay. <laughs> so we're gonna do a game. Mara's the judge. Yes. Bethany's telling books, you for books me. Books against humanity. Here's, here's Bethany <laughs> telling you what we're doing in my vlogs. I don't have to talk. Okay. Oh, You're wait, welcome. Actually, before. All right. So round one, I think we have Leanna versus Jess, and then it's gonna be. We're us. so competitive. This is gonna be so bad. competitive. I'm gonna take you down. Yeah. It's <laughs> gonna be fun. What's the rundown? Are people to my home. I make them film with me. <laughs> it's a requirement. Ass is only appropriate. Consent, but it's a lie. But consent. Interception. Was told the only way out is through. <laughs> so our first two competitors. Okay, let me. Where do we go? Let's head to round one. Well, you're my enemy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Rar. <laughs> we have Jess versus Leanna. They have they're gonna have three questions, and the goal is to pick the book that will be an answer that I will like best. So I'll close my eyes so I don't know who's doing what. Okay. First prompt. Easy. Kissing. Go. Just find Go. That you will like. Parents. I don't. I don't know. Jess is ready. Jess what is ready. Have? Jess has locked and loaded. Oh, I think okay, okay. Yeah. So it's so a more awesome title. <laughs> so I'm, I'm guessing by these reactions that that was a Jess. <laughs> Jess hit us on the way immediately. Okay, and I was just like, or they don't it. know and what was, to do for this one. Yeah. yeah. The fun of this is that there's two levels of chaos here. One, they have to decide their approach to the prompt. The second is they don't know where, what is on my shelves. They don't know where anything is. And we have to guess off. your humor. Yeah. I mean, just because you're not as funny as me. <laughs> Probably reality. This is aspirational. I did just see the Barbie movie last night, so that I feel like the answer should be Little Women. Mm. Oh man, I'm I'm conflicted. These were two excellent choices. Well done. Do I go more with the reality or the aspirational? of these I'm so conflicted because they're both great answers I'm gonna say in terms of which of these books I enjoy more make me a heathen I'm gonna say the shelter in place because I like this book better so who won beyond yes wow uh. I was so, you know I was rooting for you then I wouldn't have to film anymore <laughs> the the one time Liana chooses the hopeful answer I know <laughs> gonna be great chapter three yes. podcast duking it out here uh well, they've, they've already yeah. lost part of their cohort here so well no, that's good because now we're not going against each other that's true yeah okay at the final round so okay so round two chapter three here we go prompt we'll again we'll start with something a little broad and whatever murder murder murder, murder. okay <laughs> what's it gonna yeah. be a noir novel. Then it's like the deciding which way to go. Yeah. It's very, it's, there's lots of... I think I'm going to go with this. I think. We've got the books. Oh, Here's okay. the reveal. Who's going to win? Ah, I guess yeah, I'm participating this time. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta be in camera, Izzy. You gotta be in camera. Okay. Yeah. All right. Consent. Here we go. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Two great answers. So we've got The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix, and we've got uh, Inferno by Dante. So this is a serial killer book, so we definitely have actual murder happening. Mm -hmm. This is literally hell. So <laughs> there are murderers here. We both took it like... Um... Mm, one has say, double murder. Final Girl Support Group is more directly murder. So we'll say that. Busy. <laughs> Pumped in so there. It's busy. Okay. It's like, busy got it has to be Final Girl Support Group. There's like double murder. murder. Okay. <laughs> well, you already knew that that was true. You the only time so I went with that. You didn't, I'm going. you didn't have to do this game. We're going to go in the office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think. I have an idea if I can find the right. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> is a solid answer, but the winner is clearly winning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> When you left out that, I was like, you're winning. There's no choice. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay. My thought was just kill everybody and give them one yeah. All right, <laughs> Jess. Jess and Bethany. It's me and you. <laughs> Go check out Mara's channel for the full video, but we had so much fun. That game, Books Against Humanity is what I, I've, I've phrased it. It was fun. So then we went out for some Mexican food at Rose Pepper, um, which was uh, good for most of us. Not great for our resident vegan, unfortunately. We were a little bummed at uh, the lack of seasoning of the vegetables she got, but otherwise it was good. We had some margaritas and 
guacamole and stuff. And then we had some ice cream at Jenny's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have Jenny's in New York or no? I don't think so. I'm not really sure how we found space for the ice cream after all that food. So we were in a food coma most of the afternoon and just like lay on the couch and talked. <laughs> this was, can you tell we're tired? It's been fun though. Mm. It's our last night. Good morning. It is our last day here. Just headed to the airport really early. And then me and Lena are getting dropped off at the airport. And that is the end, but it has been a great weekend. So I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog and uh, hopefully we'll get to do this again at some point. Uh, I'm sure I will do voiceover in the clips because I mostly have B-roll footage, but we were just having a really good time hanging out. On our way to the airport. Talk to me in the comments down below. Go follow everybody if you don't already, but you probably do. Bye. I finally made it back to my city after a great weekend.